love with it. I said, I have to have this bike. So all this cushioning, that's what takes the impact from the, uh, the shaft, the shifter shaft goes right in here. Hey guys, welcome back. As uh, some of you might know, some of you don't know, I'm new to Harley. My first bike was actually an electric light, a 2020 electric light standard, which I built up with videos uh, through the channel. Then a few, a year later, I bought a Sportster just to try to modify it. it. Was raffled out to one of you guys that actually won it. And this is only my third, pretty much my third Harley. So not like a lot of you guys that have been for decades on Harleys. For me, the, the Harley experience is pretty new. So I rode my electric glide uh, almost two years and at the unveiling, when it was a live unveiling of the Lowrider ST, I just saw it and I just fell in love with it. I remember the, the excitement, the first time we saw the bike, which was back in the tracks and had that wow moment, like that's, that's special. I think to some customers, this is gonna be their version of touring. It's a new personality, it's a slightly new way to tour. If you live somewhere where you, you want to do some canyon carving or just some cruising, you know, some performance riding, and a couple times a year you want to throw on some gear and head to Daytona or head to Sturgis or head to Fokker Sey, Lowrider ST is just a great choice. It's the perfect combination of performance and touring. Hey guys, I don't know if it's going to continue. Wow, it's th those were unbelievable. Lowrider ST is amazing. My opinion, absolutely amazing. Looks awesome. That was that amazing. Was, yeah. I, amazing. That low rider ST is beautiful. I know. It's I agree. beautiful. I agree. I fell in love with it. I said, I have to have this bike. So once I put in the pre order, I was first one to get it in New Jersey, and the rest is history. So this is pretty much my first, uh, first soft tail. I came off a touring bike, and I'll tell you something, I love it. But one, one, one important thing. I didn't take into consideration and I just didn't know and uh, you know uh, live and learn but like I said this was my first my first uh, soft tail one major difference besides the, sh the frame the chassis you know the way it's built and everything and it's a smaller size is one important crucial very crucial thing is how the engine how the motor is placed on the bike on a touring bike it's rubber mounted so there's a lot of dampening and on this soft tail, or on every soft tail, it's mount, it's rigidly mounted. So pretty much the engine is bolted directly to the frame. So, and I didn't take that into consideration, had no clue. One of the rides we were taking with uh, one of the buddies, he says, how do you like the bike? I said, dude, I love the bike. The only thing that really bothers me is that at higher RPMs, three and a half thousand and up, getting tons of vibrations all the way from the foot pegs all the way through my legs, all the way up, you know, to my body, and, and it's shaking, it's, it's uncomfortable. And he said, yeah, of course, it's because, it's because the, the Milwaukee 8 over here is uh, bolted directly to the frame. I said, oh, I didn't even know that. So, that being said, as you guys know, I've done a conversion. This whole riding position of the ST is very upright, very sporty, the 90 degrees, bend of your legs the legs are pretty much your your feet are underneath you it wasn't really comfortable for me besides the the pegs are even raised higher so the whole stance the 90 degrees is pretty high up very uncomfortable at my age what can I do you know and it's a club style Cubs club style riding position club style bike and that's not my style no matter what I just love the way the bike looked, but I had to find my comfort, my comfort coming from a touring bike was pretty much my legs stretch, stretched out forward. So I did actually a forward conversion. I put out a video, a very descriptive video, how to do the forward conversion. I won't go through the whole thing if you want to see it. And actually I do advise to watch both this video and the forward conversion uh, that will show you all the steps how to do it. So during that conversion, when I moved my controls forward, uh, there were pegs. I changed them to the Thrash and Supplies mini floorboards, which are really nice. They're aluminum billet, really cool, it gives you good feeling, good response uh, and control of the bike. But the main problem with those floorboards, they are uh, like one piece, there's zero dampening. It's like a 
piece of metal like aluminum on the brackets that are connected immediately to the frame. So all the vibrations directly for the end from the engine go through the through the mini floorboards, you know, to, to your legs. So a while ago, I actually seen a few people do a nice a nice conversion. They did it on a Fat Boy, Fat Boy, Fat Bob, Street Bob, Street Boy. Uh, you see, I'm new. The, all the names they. Uh, I think it's a fat boy. Anyway, it's it's floorboards. Now the thing they've done, and it, they've done it, I've seen it on the Sport Glide. It came out beautiful. The Sport Boy floorboards uh, are chrome. But there was one year, I think, only one year, uh, on the 115th anniversary, where Harley came out with the limited edition with when it's all blacked out. So that, that was what I was searching for. And believe it or not, I searched the web day and night and I was able to source parts from eBay from uh, dealer dealerships in in England in the USA all over I every bits and pieces I was able to source all the parts so the way I've done my conversion uh, in two steps is one moving all the controls forward and the second thing is actually converting foot pegs into floorboards so this video I'm going to show you actually all the steps I took uh, for uh, converting the floorboards, but I'll also show you and summarize the actual process I've done in the whole conversion. See, Harley doesn't put out uh, a complete kit for this specific setup. They do have a kit that would move the fo uh, controls forward, but that would, uh, would end up with uh, pegs. And the peg brackets don't fit the floorboards. So you pretty much need to uh, Build up this whole setup part by part. Source the part one after the other. There's no one complete kit. So it's a little bit of uh, uh, you know searching uh, and coming up with a part list. Go to your local Harley. Do it yourself. Do it online. That's the way to do it. I will have a parts list uh, on the screen over here. If you need, pause the video, write the part number down, and start looking for the for the parts. There's also an option if you're unable to get uh, to the black blackout uh, mounts and floorboards, you can always get the chrome one and then send it out to be powder powder coated. Not a big hassle. It will definitely be easier to find uh, parts for that because they're plentiful. So let me show you what it looks like and let me go through the process that I went through. So let me take you around the bike. I'll show you what it looks like and I'll explain in very uh, specific details what I did. I'll also talk about the controls themselves, moving them forward and all the steps. And yeah, you did notice, you did see me a different hat. I just got these beanies. They're on my website, www.holyshift.us. When you buy this, you automatically are entered into the uh actually any any item any piece of merch that you buy on the website you're automatically entered into our tour pack raffle we have an advent black tour pack raffle and check it out very soon let's walk around from eBay that I just got another item. The item that I got is the one of the floorboards. I was able to source all the parts from different places, some from eBay, some from Harley, and uh, the, the parts you're going to be seeing coming the next few days are from different deliveries, different places. So I just got an email from eBay saying that one of the floorboards is there. I'll get home, I'll show you.
That's the first piece in the puzzle. Got another part, another eBay part. And this is the, this is the rubber mounts. That's what makes all the difference. That's why I'm upgrading this. The left side, there you go. These are the game changer for me. These two will make all the difference. That's the insert that goes on, on the floorboards. Finally, all the parts have arrived. I got all the parts here from eBay and from, well, actually from uh, Harley Davidson in United Kim Kingdom, because I had to, you know, gather up all the different parts. It's very cold outside right now. I'm gonna work on it over here in my uh, living room. And when I have a final, uh, you know, a final side ready, I'll take it out to the bike. Springs. This is where the magic happens. C-clip to hold these guys in. These are the actual brackets. Like so. I'll need blue Loctite for this. Or maybe actually even red Loctite. Okay, the way I'm actually working it in. I aligned it, I put soap uh, on the plastic, the rubber part inside. Aligned it up and gently, I, I try to pull one of these tabs, see these little tabs? Don't do that, it's gonna rip off over here. So gently with the screwdriver, I'm lifting it so it goes, it goes through all around slowly until it finally seats in properly. Be patient with it so you don't want to rip it. It's almost there. See? Almost completely out. Now I'll do this one and then the other side. See how I got all all four of them. So I got both of them nicely positioned and seated. And this, this is the big, big and main difference that I'm, uh, that I upgraded and changed. It's this, you see this, all this cushioning that's what takes the impact from the thumping V8, 117 V8. That, that movement, that is a lot of dampening right there. Now we'll need to put the C clip right here to lock it into place. That's it. Let's do the other side now. You wanna play with this? Yeah, come on. Come on, come over here. You can help me with this. Yeah, I'll put this aside now for a little. Okay, here you go. I'm putting this aside. What's up, buddy? Wanna see what I'm doing? Now 
Now that we have these two prepared, the right side is no problem, is the brake side. I'll just go over to the bike and remove my current setup. The two bolts that are currently holding uh, the, uh, the bracket, I'm going to use with this. So that's going to be an easy install. One side, the other side, the left side, is going to have an additional step. This little bracket actually attaches over here, this way. I got the two bolts. I'm going to uh, blue uh, red Loctite them actually into place. And right here is where the, uh, the shaft, the shaft for the, the shifter go, the shaft, the shifter shaft. The shifter shaft goes in and we'll do that on the bike itself. And I think it's gonna be beautiful and practical. Okay, so let me start on the right side, the easier side, the brake side. I'll go through it and then we'll go to the left side, a little bit more complicated. So originally, uh, the bracket that comes with the bike is pretty much placed over here, same place, but the bracket goes this way and the pegs come out over here. And the main thing that needs to be changed is the master cylinder for the brake. That was moved, but the brake lever needs to be changed from stock. The brake lever, the stock brake lever is terrible. It's simply straight out over here and you just can't reach it. So it's the brake lever. And that's not part of this part lease. The brake lever, you have to source by yourself, choose which one you want, and install it. Tell you, it's kind of difficult to, you know, uh, to summarize a very long video and descriptive video of how I moved all the components forward, the forward controls conversion. So after this video, make sure you go to watch that video. That will give you a full picture of what you need and refer to those this video and that video when you're doing your conversion yourself. And yeah, the hat changed again. No big change, pretty much. This bracket, this bracket is a different bracket that changes the whole setup for the, uh, for the mounted. Uh. Anyway, I, I kind of pretty much go to my previous video and see how the brake uh, change took place. Now let's go to the left side over here. Same concept of the bracket itself moving forward. And this part is uh, a separate part from the actual bracket itself. This is where uh, the shaft, the shifter shaft goes right in here. If you remember originally, this part, the shifter uh, lever goes over here. Currently it's plugged, but that's where this originally went. The shifter was here, okay, going up, and it would come out on the other side, and there was a very small linkage between these two. When you do the conversion forward, this uh, small lever that goes in here and ends up in here, you can see that in my previous video, was connected with a small linkage over here. Once you do the conversion, you take that part out, this whole shaft, you plug it in with this plug. This plug is, wasn't originally black, I painted it black. It comes in uh, chrome for, for some reason, whatever. But you'll find it a part of my part list. And then this, this uh, linkage, much longer, goes all the way over here and mounts to this shifter shaft bracket. Let's call it that way. Maybe, maybe now it seems a little bit messy and uh, you don't really understand what I did. You have to watch my first video of how I did, uh, how I moved the controls forward. Once all the brake assembly, master cylinder brake assembly is forward and the uh, shifter mechanism is forward, then from that point on, it's easy just mounting uh, the brackets that hold the floorboards which is this video itself. And it's pretty simple. Oh, I just remembered, I haven't said anything about it, but yeah, I'm selling my older, my Thrash and Supplies uh, mini floorboards, which are great. You can find them on the website, on my website. Take a look, it's gonna be a, give, a good price. I think new, they're like $400, so I'm gonna give a very big discount. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped you. 
go ahead and try to find those parts. Like I said, if you can find the parts, get the chrome ones and black them out. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down by the description. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.